time for the useless news. Useless news. Right here on the Big Dumb Fun Show. Venkman reporting. Good evening, everybody. My name is Venkman. This is the useless news heard only on the Big Dumb Fun Show, unless, of course, you hear it somewhere else. But if it's not me, it ain't useless. That's my uh, my motto. I guess if you had a motto. Do you have a motto, Gnurk? Well, I don't have one, but I have one that's been made up about me. Yeah, what's that? Don't work it, Gnurk it. Doctors say looking at busty women for 10 minutes a day is good for your health. Man. I've been saying it all along. I'm telling you, if 10 minutes is good, a half hour has got to be great. Staring at busty women can, or or men, I guess, can lengthen your life, according to scientists. Are you looking at yourself in the mirror? I'm still looking. I'm like, oh, man, this I will make good. me healthy. A German on me, I'm just rubbing them together now. Am I got any baby oil? A German study published in the New England Journal of Medicine concludes yeah. that staring at women's breasts for just a few minutes a day is better for your health than going for the to the gym. Do you think it's as These are German scientists, is folks. Is this good for women as much as it's good for men? Just 10 minutes of looking at the of charms. having your breasts stared at. Is that healthy for you? <laughs> Man, that girl's really fit. She must get stared at all the time. Just 10 minutes of looking at the charms of a well-endowed female is the equivalent to about a 30-minute aerobics workout, according to author Karen Weatherby, an expert on aging. The research team... How do you get on this research that team? explains why I'm looking so young. Spent five years monitoring the effects of this unique discovery. Five years! Do you think these scientists... Like, do you think they ever got in trouble at home? Because yeah, I know I would. What you, are you, you're what not are you guys, really working. I'm in... I'm, honey, I'm in year two of a five-year deal. I have to look at these breasts. The men were told to stare at bosoms daily. Man, my eyes are killing me. And had lower blood pressure and slower resting pulse rates, and they decreased their risk of uh, coronary artery disease. Dr. Weatherby explains. But they probably suffered from more carpal tunnel syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> there is a side effect to everything, really. Sexual excitement gets the heart pumping and improves blood circulation. There's no question gazing at large breasts makes men healthier, unless, of course, they're caught. <laughs> You're only supposed to stare for 10 minutes. Why would you get caught? Oh, they're not your wife's breasts you're staring at. <laughs> then you could get hit or smacked or punched, and that's not good for your health. Probably doesn't count if it's your mom or a relative. No. She also recommends that men over 40, that's almost you, Gnurk, men over 40 should spend at least 10 minutes a day admiring breasts at least a D cup or larger. So you have to, the older you get, the larger the breasts that really? you have to look at. So you're saying... <laughs> Like a C cup isn't going to do it. <laughs> no, it's but, not going to do it. But for you, <laughs> if you're the over young 40, cup that you are, you're... you're, you're oh, I could look at A cups, B cups. You're feeling the burn with an A or a B cup. doesn't matter. I could I could look at Victoria's Secret magazine. And often you but do. But you're, you're going to have to look at the uh, at Lane Bryant. Wait a second. Because you need the, the large... The breasts are larger, not necessarily the, are... the rest. Uh, just look at anything in a mammoth-colored shirt. That's what you got to do. Oh, this is sad news. Your mom says in the chat room, oh. no health benefits fits for me. Just <laughs> soar back. <laughs> Police in Ada, Oklahoma this week arrested a 20-year-old uh, Christine Don Harris after a search of her car yielded meth, drug paraphernalia, a pistol, and ammo. But it wasn't until they reached the local jail that officers learned that Harris still had a few tricks up her sleeve. And by sleeve, we mean vagina. Harris, who'd been complaining to her arresting officers that she really needed to go to the bathroom, she was ordered to change into jail clothing, but then she refused to do so, claiming that she was on her period. Turns out she ultimately agreed to submit to a body cavity search, which... I'm sure that was drawing the short straw. Agreed to. <laughs> like you have a choice. Earl, it's your turn. She's on her period. I'm just a janitor. She ultimately agreed to a body cavity search. Officer Kathy Umbiwu said she observed at that time a wooden and metal item sticking out of her vagina. 
That object turned out to be a 22 caliber handgun loaded with three live rounds. Ooh. Was the safety on? And one spent shell. That wasn't all. According to the district attorney, the officer noticed more plastic baggies, larger plastic baggies, wedged in the crack of her buttocks. <laughs> Why couldn't you put the gun there? I was going to say, why did you choose that place for the gun? It doesn't even say it was a Derringer. It was a, the, the brand of gun was a Freedom Arms 22 caliber handgun. I'm going to Google that to figure out exactly, I'm Googling the handgun, not the picture of the. The baggies were found to contain an unspecified quantity of meth. Harris and the accomplice were booked on various drug and weapons charges. They both have fairly lengthy rap sheets and what, huge have... vaginas. Oh, wait a second. She had an accomplice? She had an accomplice. And accomplice. Her name? <laughs> it doesn't say, oh. but... Was it a Let's just say they, 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 they tucked it under each breast. She was uh, very large. Uh, you got to see. This is a full-size handgun. <laughs> this isn't even a Derringer, Gnurk. You should take a look. Like, take a look at this. Here's a Freedom Arms 22 caliber. Check that out! It was it's like damn, it's the Dirty Harry of 22 of 22 caliber handguns. Ugh. Well, you know, a vagina can stretch to accommodate a large number of sizes. Never been experienced with that. It's not the size of the caliber; it's how you use it. A woman's police mugshot has gone viral, prompting declarations of love and even proposals of marriage from around the world. Megan Simmons of Tampa, Florida, was arrested for drunk driving in 2010, and the mugshot photo of her in an orange jumpsuit was recently posted on Reddit. The separated mother of four has since received an avalanche of gentlemanly attention, including dozens of marriage proposals. You know those mugshots they get printed in magazines all throughout the all throughout the country. And they have ridiculous mugshots and then they have one for like hot ladies. This probably made one of those. Men added their own corny captions to the mugshot such as guilty of taking my breath away Jeez. and arrested for breaking and entering your heart. Social media sites were overtaken by comments from men wanting to marry her, looking for her phone number, and asking if she is a model. Now all she needs is some bail. Come to Ireland, I'll put you up for a while, and you can work in my friend's pub while you find your feet, looking up your family history, and then move on to something better. You can find your feet uh, behind my ears. What? That's what somebody from... Ireland wrote. Another one added, I hope if you have a man that takes care of you and showers you with love and tenderness, if we were together, you would need nothing. Miss Simmons said she wasn't completely happy with all the attention and had been forced to block people on social networks who had sent her rude messages. She says, it's crazy, LOL. Is this a direct quote and she uses LOL? I don't understand what all the hype is about. The rest was in 2010. I think the pick is terrible. My name is Vankman. I think that Useless News was great. Useless News at BigDumbFuncho.com.